Hey, Year 12s. Uh, welcome to your last uh, lesson before the break. Um, and I believe it's also the last lesson um, for this topic, um, Shortest Path. So uh, today we're going to be getting into Shortest Path. Um, it's a pretty straightforward topic, um, overall, um, idea overall. Think of it as um, the shortest path between two vertices. So in this example, it says uh, find the shortest path between a town C, so here's our one vertice, and town F, the other vertice. So um, at the with this uh, example, it also gives you some edges with some weights to them. So what you have to do is you have to go through the different situations and think about smart ways to do this. Now, there's also not smart ways to do this. So don't do roundabout trips. So for example, this route here would obviously be a roundabout trip and probably will not render you with the shortest possible path. You don't need to visit all the vertices either. So in that example I just did, uh, yeah, I visited all the vertices, but it's not asking you to do that. It's just asking you to find the shortest path from, uh, from town C to town F, right? So um, to begin, um, you can list a couple different options. So there's this option here where you go from town C through town B, so that's um, you go from C to B to A to F. Now you add up the weights of all your edges to figure that out. So with C to B to A to F, I believe that's a weight of, um, it's five plus six plus seven, which is gonna give you a total of 18 kilometers. So there's your first one. So there's C to B to A to F. So that's one possible route. I'll just take out my eraser and erase my path. So there's that possible route. All right, so we'll uh, look at another one. Um, we could go um, C to B, and then after C to B, let's cut across to E and then over to F. So we went, that is option C to B, C to B to E to F. So now you add them all up, C to B to E to F. So that's five plus four plus seven, which I believe gets you 16 kilometers. Um, definitely a possibility. Um, let's erase our, let's see where our work so I can do another sketch here. I'm just gonna erase that one away. It's kind of hard to, of course there's a little bit easier in this, uh, easier way in this program to erase all the work away. Anyways. Okay. So the next uh, attempt, let's try C to D to E to F. So that's C to D to E to F. And that's 6 plus 9 is 15. 15 plus 7 is 22 kilometers. You can keep going and doing this over and over. Um, I believe our shortest path, however, is this path right here. So here's our shortest path of 16 kilometers using the path of going from C to B. Why did my edge get so thin suddenly? Let's make it a bit there. I'm going C to B um, and then across to E and over to F. And that would be our shortest path. So there's our first example um, done for you. Um, compare different path lengths and identify the shortest path answer in words. I did that. I didn't. Um, so the next example um, has a bunch of different options for us. So I'll just kind of get to it. So this one asks you, A, it asks you to find the shortest path between A and E. So we have to find the shortest path between A and E. So this one's pretty straightforward because there's really only two options for you to get to E. So really, you can look at what, what's 5 plus 7, and I believe that's 12. And you can look at what 6 plus 5 is, and I believe that's 11. And that would be um, the shortest path. In this example, um, 
they don't really give you um, meters or kilometers or minutes or time. So this is kind of a, a unitless answer. So between A and E, it would be 11. So that would be to start. So that was our first one. So I'm just going to take a second and erase. So this is going to get to be a mess again. Ooh, I could make my eraser bigger. I guess I could do that. That's a bit better, a bit more efficient. Okay, so that's A to E. Uh, next example. Um, oh, that's our opacity. No, that's, okay, we'll keep our opacity full. Okay, so A to E. Um, example B. Example B, they ask us to find A and F. So A is right here, F is right here. So possible paths. There's a couple different ways we can get to this. Um, I'm not going to take a roundabout route. So don't go and take a roundabout route to get to F. It's obviously going to be not your shortest path. Um, I'm going to start by going um, directly from A to C, and then C to F, and I believe that's 12. And that's a pretty straightforward one as well. Um, not overly difficult, um, and really, that one's straightforward. So that's A to F. Um, next example um, is from A to G. From A to G. So we have A right there, and G's our goal right here. So one route that stands out to me is option one which would be 5 plus 7 is 12 plus 10, and that gives us a length of 22. So that's one possibility, okay? A second option would be from A to C, C to F, F to G, and that's 6 plus 6 is tw uh, 12, plus 8 is 20. So that's another option as well. Um, a third option could be doing A to C, C to E, E to G. So that would be 6 plus 5 is 11, plus 10 is 21. So I believe our shortest possible route is going, and I'll list it out here, A to C to F to G to get a total of 20 units. Uh, finally, um, they ask you to do the whole difficult final one of A to H. So probably your two most distance vertices. Um, so let me just clean that nice up. So this one we're trying to go from A to H. So this is where you can kind of start looking at shortest path ideas. Um, Kind of look at your spanning trees a little bit if you want to. Um, you can see one path might be to go this way, just following the edges, the outermost edges, not going through the middle. So 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 8 is 20, plus 10 is 30. So that's option one of going, let's just do this A to H, and that was A to C to F to G to H, and that was 20. Another option, go the outside on the other side. So we could go that route there. 5 plus 14 gets us 19. 19 plus 12, I believe, gets us to 31. I already just saw a math error in my other one. Um, I'll just address that in a second. So that's A to B to D to H, and that gets us to 31, I believe. I also made a math error here. It's not 20. In no world is it 20. Um, sorry about that. Um, A to C is 6, plus 6 is 12, plus 8 is 20, plus 10 is 30, not 20. I can't do math, apparently, in my head. Um, so there's your another route. Going through the middle, you might be able to save a little bit, but it doesn't look like it's going to save you a ton. So if I went A to C, C to E, E to G, and then G to H, so that's 20 plus 5 gets us 25 plus 6 is 31. So this is looking like our shortest route right there. So that's um, how you can do shortest um, path as well. Last example. Okay. So Darcy has drawn a network diagram to represent several streets for traveling from his home. 
to the shops. I love that they're called the shops here, by the way. Um, the numbers indicate the times in minutes. So these are your times in minutes. So all those numbers represent the times in minutes. Um, it describes the shortest path and minimum traveling time. So let's see here, the shortest path. So I'm gonna start with, let's, then there's a lot of different ways to do this. So looking like my first choice to get from A, I have a two or a one. Um, this, the paths look like, um, you know, these two look of similar length, but it might be because of congestion or stop signs or speed limit that caused them to be a different amount of time. But I'm just going to start, um, by going from A to D and go with the smallest number. Okay. So my next choice, I can go with a three or two. I might go with a two. Um, next I've got a three or a five. So I'm going to go to with the three minutes. And then I basically have a straight shot from H to I. I have no other choices. So that would be one minute plus two minutes is three, plus three is six, plus five is 11. So option one is A to D to E to H to I which is the shops, and I said that that was 11 minutes. Okay, question two, or sorry, possibility number two, not question two, possibility number two, sorry about that. I must erase my work, I should, do. there we go, not bad, okay, cleaned up again. Okay, so option two, let's just try a couple different options. Uh, I'll go from A to B, for two, We'll go from B to E for one. Again, I'll go with this option here to three and three to five. So that would be A to B to E to H to I. And that was two minutes, three minutes, six minutes, ooh, 11 minutes, we have a tie. Okay, so that would be 11 minutes there. Okay, so we'll see if we can find a better route, um, even still. So just let me erase my lines. Okay, so let's try this one here. We'll go um, A to B, B to C. I'm trying to see if I can avoid this five, and that's kind of, that five is a lot of weight. So two to three, sorry, A to B, B to C, C to F, F to I, so we, we did miss this busy five or that uh, slow five and we missed that one as well. So we did option three, we did um, A to B, B to C, C to F, F to I, and that was a total of two plus three is five, plus two is seven, plus three is 10 minutes. Woof, saving that whole minute, amazing. Um, you can try different routes, um, you know, there's uh, the ways you do like um, A to B, 2, 3, 8, 11, that's another way, um, that would be 1, uh, 4, 6, 11, but this option here is your fastest route right there, or in this case the shortest path um, involving time. So the shortest path is A, B, C, F, I, uh, and the time taken is 11 minutes is what I would write out if I had more space to write out my answer in full. I hope you're all doing well, keeping safe, safe and healthy at home. I'm gonna say goodbye and take care.